What up, everybody? We got a mystery box here for uh, Tina Zaylor. Uh, for the next few of these we do, I'm going to be tossing one of these into everybody's boxes. I know these are hot. Uh, there's not a lot of them, but uh, I will definitely be throwing the, uh, the gourmet chef butcher knife into everybody's box that lets us open their box because there's only a few of them. But uh, you remember the finger cutter. Beautiful blade. You could go what and cut your celery real quick or whatever you want. Very Razor sharp though. I am not. Hope you didn't cut the counter. No, that's granite. This is a. Uh, all right. <laughs> Be all right. You can get you can get butcher block made out of granite. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so <clears throat> everybody's box that lets us open it. I'm gonna throw one of these. I think we have about six more of them to go. So uh, just FYI, uh, these will be on the website by the end of the day. Thank you, Seth. Uh, <laughs> Also, I've been doing the swap meet like before we got into the stereo or before we got into the shop. I was rolling the swap meets probably three days a week, um, and you get into a cycle with it. You know what I mean? You get into a you get into a grind. You just get used to it. Uh, but when you don't go to the swap meet a lot, it's like you dread it. You know what I mean? But like today, like. Last night, like, can't go to sleep. You know what I mean? It always happens because you know you got to get up at 4.30. And uh, Joanne says, hope your day at the swap meet went great. We made a 1000 uh, It cost 150 for Seth, and then it cost 150 for the spaces. I'd probably guess it at about 40 bucks in fuel. So, I mean, as opposed to I could throw the car parts away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I could take them out there and let those people uh, get at them. Uh, and they did a halfway decent job at it. So Zaylor's box. Anyway, you know what I mean? Like I woke up at three o'clock in the morning the other day and I was like, I'm just going to ride it because I know I got swap meet coming the day after tomorrow. So I woke up at three. I stayed up. I fought it. I stayed up. Uh, I tried to go to bed early the next night and then just, I don't know why, man. Like, I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know what does it. You're just hoping you don't get, go get screwed at the swap meet because of all the extra effort it costs. But like, dude, I laid in bed till one o'clock last night. I couldn't go to sleep. Thank you. Naomi. <laughs> and then I woke up, I woke up at three o'clock, three fifteen, three thirty, <laughs> three forty five, four o'clock. Every time I wake up. I'm looking at my watch going, oh, I could go back to sleep a little bit longer. And then at like 4.15, I heard Seth in the kitchen. I was like, all right, Seth's already up. So I'm just going to get out of bed before the alarm clock. <laughs> so I got up, shut the clock off, came out, had my coffee. Uh, dragging the whole time, you know what I mean? Like long drive, it's dark outside. The trailer weighs, you know, 15,000 pounds. Let's go get on the freeway and sit in some traffic. So finally when I get there though, you get that that wind, you know what I mean? You get that little bit of a buzz going, especially when money starts coming in and people are talking to you and you're running, running your mouth. <laughs> so, uh, Karen, Karen Schumacher says, Jason, I have those days with my husband. <laughs> Dude, my wife snores. She'll never admit it. The freaking dog snores. You know what I mean? It's crazy. <laughs> so I'm waking up every 15 minutes because somebody's snoring now. That's a cute top. It really is. Yeah, that's um, a nice That was a cute little overtop. Um, now, I can put my earplugs in, and I can zone out the dog. I can zone out the wife. But I was scared if I do that, because I can sleep till 8 o'clock in the morning if I got earplugs in, because I don't hear nothing. So I'll stay asleep. You know what I mean? Nothing wakes me up. <laughs> Did baby's behavior well gone do okay? She dug a hole in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, she, she dug was, a hole. <laughs> but she was locked outside too. Like mom put her outside and then closed her uh, doggy door. But anyway, I got rid of some car parts without having to throw them away. Ooh, that one's pretty. Um, and uh, I still got to go to the dump. That's going to cost. Ooh, look at the blue butterflies. Those are cool. Check those out. Blue butterflies with diamond and bezeled uh, necklace. Very nice. Super nice. Good looking. Robin says, maybe you need some wireless headphones that you can turn on the alarm with. Not a bad idea. It'd have to be like the uh, noise-canceling muffs. Because mm -hmm. I've tried to sleep with the earpods, ear ear what do you call them? 
Uh, Earplugs? I am not a back sleeper. That's my problem. I like to sleep on my side or on my stomach, and that's it. <laughs> this is the dog wants a pool. Right. <laughs> we all want a pool. All right, guys, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, regulate the video, regulate your groups, regulate your Now, pages. this is an undelivered mail. This has no promise. This is the we care from the post office. That Sorry, we regret to tell you we screwed up your stuff. <laughs> your bag has holes in it. This is what we found. Let's see what it is. You feed a... You feed a... Oh, oh, itsy bitsy. Oh, no. <laughs> itsy bitsy. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's got, that's got a junk pouch on the front of it, bro. That's yeah. for dudes, bro. <laughs> that's the ombre edition right there, bro. <laughs> Sorrell uh, says, my son has an alarm for deaf people. It shakes the bed. <laughs> you can be pretty little butt floss for a man. Huh? Got, oh, got some little... Skid marks in it already? All right. No, I'm kidding. They're brand new. But those are... Uh, Rhett, where are you at, man? I found your panties. I found your man panties. Robin says, ugly <laughs> pair of underwear. Daniel says, try it on, Jason. I'd look tough in those, guys, for sure. <laughs> I would look tough in those. Uh, so uh. Kim asks, how is Baby Bug? She was doing fine. She was excited to see us when we walked into the house. Well, she was excited to see Baby Eddie. girl. Baby girl. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Trying to stick that Lucy, huh? Well, that's what mom wants. I kind of like baby bug. Baby I, I, bug? Yeah, whoever just said baby that bug. Was Kim. I kind of like baby bug. Uh, $83 on eBay, guys. Check them out. Piggy Tech. Uh, Some filters. Nice. What's crazy is like the uh, the landing pads that we had by Piggy Tech to land your drone on. I uh, I didn't want to stick them in all your boxes because I'm just like, ah, it's like kind of like a windshield shade. You know what I mean? Just kind of pop it up, throw yeah. it on the ground. You got to land a drone on it. But we sold every one of them today. Like they sold out. So I think that Piggy Tech brand is is more than I know of because the dude bought everything we had a Piggy Tech all at once today. Do with Alanis, have you decided on her name yet? Uh, well, we're, there's Lucy. That's one of them. But now we have a competi uh, competitor called Baby Bug. <laughs> I think Baby Bug. Baby Bug. The baby bug. That's why we became the baby bug. All right. So this would appear to be if you want to carry around your two liter bottle of soda. <laughs> All right. Or maybe that's a 40. <sighs> Are you? Uh, Joanne says, Are you taking medication for diabetes to lose weight? Yeah. Yeah. It works great. Oh, it's okay. amazing. It is amazing. So this is what I see. It's like it gives you like like a militant mindset that allows you to say yes and no to food at will. That's what's amazing about it. You know what I mean? Uh, it did it did start to wear off like in the later weeks that I was doing it, and I stopped taking it this week because I only had a month's supply. But uh, ooh, that looks different. Oh, world map. Get your hands off okay. my opening. 1502 World Map Series. It's a puzzle, ain't it? Oh. Ooh, calligraphy oh. pin. That is sick. Huh. Calligraphy pin. There's your ink. It's tied in there, but that's a real feather. And those are different tips for your calligraphy. That's pretty badass. Yeah. That is pretty badass. I uh, like that one. Robert Wanda suggested naming her Daisy. Uh, we've heard Daisy. I kind of like Daisy. Ashley May says that was epic. Yep. But like militant. The first four days, I was amazing. I, I couldn't believe myself. I was like in shock because she made pizza and I didn't eat but two bites. And like I went to bed thinking to myself, I'm going to have to get up and go get a breakfast burrito tomorrow because I didn't eat nothing all that day. And, uh, I got some of these on the website, too, just in case you guys want them. They're adjustable to fit any sink, and it's a strainer, so you can boop. You can put your vegetables in there, the straight, and then wash your veggies there. Nice little sink strainers. Um, but, yeah, it was uh, by, day four, by, day, by day two, I was like, all right. Tina suggested calling her Pepper. 
Uh, Linda Diane George Romero says Willow. We got the rump stickers. <laughs> That's the Trump stickers. Uh, Stainless uh, steel. Dottie Silkwood asks, do y'all just do boxes? What's that? Do y'all just do boxes, asks Dottie. Oh, we can sell pallets too. Sometimes when I have pallets in stock, we'll sell pallets. We also do pallet contests on the website. Nice le black leather. Nathan got a new car last night, guys. Yeah. Nathan got a new car last night. Not new, but new to him. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty fly. It's pretty fly. I don't like the interior personally. Uh, Sally, I checked the mail, but I didn't. But there was nothing from you yet. Ooh, Sally sent me gifts. Well, she sent me gifts. What? Yeah. Oh hell no. You got to go check our mailbox. I did. The mailman doesn't like to come up to the door. He I likes to shove stuff in the mailbox I, and leave it hanging out a foot. I did check it earlier. To, I literally, as we got home, I checked it. There was other stuff in the mail, but there wasn't anything addressed to me. That's nice, too. Uh, Jillian. That is a cute little Christmas dress. Yeah. Jillian Wagner says, baby bear? No. Bear's kind of a male name. I kind of like baby bug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there, you can see your mom female likes it. bears, bro. Yeah. Kim says, congratulations, Nathan. Yeah, so he got a Cadillac. Sandra Wright says, she's used to baby. Why change? He got a Cadillac. Uh, he got a 05 Cadillac. Dottie asks, how much are your pallets? Um, so they're usually between seven and 800 depending on what is on them. This is a locking door handle. Very nice. With keys. Um, depend, depends. The one, the ones we always sell and do the live videos of, those are like between seven and eight hundred. Uh, it's good. They're great if you're local. I really don't like to send them, only because the average pallet is like twenty five hundred bucks uh, worth. They're five thousand dollars, but you're going to sell everything for half price, so you're going to make twenty five hundred on a. On an $800 investment, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it costs you another $400 to ship it. Now you're invested for $12, right? And like, I guess doubling your money's okay. But like, what happens if the pallet's only worth $1,800 to you? You know what I mean? Now you got a week's worth of work to do for five, six hundred bucks. And that's why I don't do them. Because if I send it, it, like, it, if you get lucky, because out of every truck, there's probably four pallets on there that are worth $12,000. you are going to sell them for $6,000 because we're half price. But uh, uh, Sally, I can't promise you what pallet that is. This is Tina Zaylor's box, Sally. Also, for those who are suggesting Ladybug, we can't. We The last dog was named Ladybug. We That's what we named her anyway. Triple cold shoe mount. I'm going to get some of these stickers and put them in my truck just so I can go around and put these on gas pumps. <laughs> Actually, gas is coming down though, <laughs> a little tiny bit. I mean, not really. You know, what I mean, I'm still paying six bucks a gallon, but like, it, I'm not paying seven anymore. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Now, three, four, four years ago, I was paying like a two dollars a gallon. <laughs> but once it got so high, it was just like just that extra dollar off. I'm like, oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> this thing's fuck smashing right here. This thing is bad to the bone. 20 inch. <laughs> Dan and Bruce is not here. Gas went up. What's your gas? How much is everybody's gas? Shoot your uh, city and how much your uh, gas is a gallon. Let's have a, uh, a look at that thing. That thing's nice. Yeah, that's pretty. That thing's a flashy. I like the design too. It's only 20, so that'd choke me out. But uh, Naomi asks, is your truck diesel? Yeah. My truck is a diesel. Uh, Raina says gas two ninety six. Oh, oh. Beth says uh, three forty nine. Kathy Ford says three oh nine in Ohio, along with Florida. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you live in California. You make me feel bad. <laughs> well, we've had two dollar gas, bro. We had two dollar gas. We really did. Season. And then the loads were cheaper, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't touch a load for under a thousand bucks now out of Arizona. And I used to be able to get them for 500. They've literally doubled their money. Uh, Julian says, Echo or Storm? What do you mean? Uh, hold on, let me see if you asked something about that earlier. 
Also we, grinder. We got the oregano grinder here. And this catches all your oregano dust in the bottom. Very nice. And looks like a cute little camera lens. Pam uh, Lewer says two fifty nine a gallon in uh, any Kansas. Uh, Phil says diesel was three ninety nine here in Florida. Uh, Sally asks, is the New York load still coming? Think about this though, even three ninety nine as opposed to six bucks, right? So two dollars, yeah. two dollars a gallon times thirty six gallons to fill my truck up. That's almost a hundred dollar bill. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's almost a hundred dollar bill every time. Now, what was the next question? Uh, so, uh, Sally asked, when is the New York still coming? Uh, so, he said that stuff is really slow right now. There is a gigantic container of containers with locking lids on the Tupperware. Very nice. Uh, I hit him up. He's like, because I hit him up. He said three weeks. And then a, a week later, I called him back and asked him about it. And he's like, oh, he's like, that's really slow. We should try and get you working on something else. It's like, eh. Hmm. So, like... I can supply good pallets because they come out of the LA load. Those are those were some solid pallets, but I cannot. There's nothing to build boxes with in that load anymore. There used to be that used to be some of the best stuff, and now there's no more smalls because it seems like they ship all the smalls to uh, New York, um, so they're not in LA anymore. Uh, so I'd have to buy that load and do it on standby, and I don't mind doing that for my pallet buyers, but. In the space I'm limited to right now, I'm kind of stuck not being able to do that. Uh, once the warehouse gets built in the backyard, I'll be able to stock three trucks. I'll be able to stock Walnut, stock New York, stock LA, and anything he wants to just throw at me, I've got room because I'll be processing constantly. Cherry, mm, Cherry Doc, Doctory says, in New Zealand where I live, 99 petrol is 270 a liter. Dennis, so are you still getting that warehouse? We're trying. Okay, uh, white cape. Uh, Sandy says Rubbermaid, not Tupperware. Uh, you, you got the dog's attention. Hello! Hello! I feel like Little Red Riding Hood in this thing. Terry says it's the White Witch. Well, all right. All right. I haven't seen one of those before. Yeah. And that's the benefit to the New York is it's everything. There's so much different stuff. It's so random. Kylie Pike says, hello, boys. Sydney, Australia. What up, Australia? So, I mean, to keep stuff rolling, I might have to do another walnut before I'm actually able to do... New York? Yeah. Oh, those are cool. Where are they? 30-piece Halloween is for unisex adult child. That's me, adult child! <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Hmm. So it looks like it's all skin. Yeah. Like holes in your body, uh, a screw in your skin. These are skin stickers. Nails in your skin, claws ripping through you. Stitches. <laughs> Weird pus. <laughs> Weird pus. Big stitches. There's a oozing zit. Look at that oh. one. <laughs> An oozing zit. Bite, uh, marks. bite marks. More stitches. Stitches. Big old eyeball. You put an eyeball in the center of somebody's head. They're tattoos. Oh, they're tattoos. That's what they are. It's uh, skin tattoos. Okay. Stitches. Rip marks. Stitches. Rip marks. Stitches. Sarah Garcia Fraga says you should get the go nut toy, uh, dog toys. So that's cool. It's got a screwdriver jamming through you, screw sticking yeah. into you, razor blade cutting you open. So, okay, there was another option too. Uh, and I know you guys are all going to want it. Those are some pretty graphic stickers, bro. Those are all different oozing well, pus zits. Well, I mean, they're for Halloween. You figure, <laughs> I'd figure it'd be graphic at least. Skin tattoos. Love it. Love that. It just says, at least you admit it. Um, so, Target and Home Depot called me the other day. The only problem with Target is, the reason Target works so good for mystery boxes and stuff like that when I had the shop is because I had so much room to uh, 
put the stuff all around the shop. And then, like, when you guys bought a box and wanted the personal shopper box, <laughs> I could send somebody around with a shopping cart and just take the stuff you wanted off the shelves and then send you guys boxes that way. That That isn't an option anymore because, like, I don't have it all set up like that. I have been considering a target load. Home Depot's available. Uh... But we'd have to do like, and I really don't have the space. Like, I'm going to be able to play with all this once my warehouse gets built. But like, we could do auctions. We could do everything again once the warehouse gets get built. Uh, that's that cool hat yeah. with all the covers on it where we're pretty good today. I don't Those know if it was that hot. hot. It wasn't really that hot at the swap meet. It wasn't bad. Target was the best of Saran. <laughs> There's a lot. Ooh, look, it's a it's the butterflies, but it's in gold this time. Ooh. It's the butterflies in gold. Well, the butterflies are a lot noticeable with the yelp with uh, the gold instead of the silver, if you ask me. Beth says duck hunting hat. I think we should have named her butterfly. 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 Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> she has a look of, or are you talking to me? That dog is the weirdest dog, bro. Like, in the morning, she loves me. We're friends. Licking my face, all that. And then as soon as I walk in the door from work, she hates me. Won't get near <laughs> me. Cowers, runs. And, and when we, Nathan gets home, oh. Forget like, it. Like, forget yeah, it. that's that's a burglar. We're going to just <laughs> eat him alive. because Nathan gets mad, too. Nathan gets mad. He's like, you will love me. <laughs> Cheryl says, I bet Home Depot is good and Target. Home Depot is good. Home Depot is a lot of returns, but with the Home Depot returns, people like, what they'll do is they'll go out and they'll buy the tools and stuff they need, use them one time for their job, then return it all. Uh, it's like the Home Depot rental program is what, the, what they joke about in Home Depot. It's like, yeah, it's our rental program. Is that a wig? That is a wig. That is a... Victoria says, Jason, because you left her alone. Premium lace wig. Lucy just hanging out. Did Nate notice his toy was gone or was the evidence hidden in time? Hidden. What's that? So, uh, I don't know. I, Nathan doesn't watch these, I've noticed, so he doesn't know. Yeah. So, L Lucy, or baby girl. Yeah, I'm talking about you. She got a hold of something from Nathan's room. And uh, it was like this elephant with a with like a green and red Christmas scarf, I think. And she had destroyed it. Like the oh, eyes were chewed out. Like I think I'd be. Oh heavy. no! Yeah, here. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, that's the <laughs> eye. I saw that's that part of it. I was like, "What the hell is this?" You know, licking my leg isn't gonna get you good favors. You're not. <laughs> you want to try it with the other person? But yeah, it was destroyed at mom's feet, and mom's like, "I don't remember that being one of her toys." And I'm like, "Uh oh." That's some. That's Nathan's. Bet you. So uh, after cleaning up all the torn parts, I also hid the body under my bed. <laughs> that is uh, C to C. Yeah, C, C to C. C. So yeah, the destroyed toys under my bed, which he will never know. Three of those. <laughs> that she tried to go over like the Santa pillow that Grandma gave me a few years back, and like another toy on my bed. I'm like, uh, uh, not me. Apple smartwatch in yellow band. Uh, Melody Pond says her name is Bella. Dirty toy for a yeah. man. <laughs> Beth says, oh, she is a liquor. So at least that she wants something. All right, let's see them dice. All right. I know I took plenty of time on that one. Yeah, 23 minutes. Almost 24 right now, actually. Here you go. All right. If you subscribe and you left comments and you shared to your page... And you come back in two hours to watch the video again. If you left a comment on 13, 13 minutes, minutes and 32 seconds, you get to pick a free small item off the website, guys. Uh, good luck to everyone. We might see you later when Annalisa gets home. We'll make the queen open one. And uh, peace out, guys.